Do we get a break? I say we take a break. <laughs> Joanne, I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. Is there a good time or bad time? Uh, tomorrow, let me look. Morning is better because in the afternoon I have several meetings. Oh, how, how early, how late in the morning? So I usually get here seven between 7 and 7.30. Oh, so I'm not up by then. So. Okay. So <laughs> I'm I just have kidding. a 10 o'clock meeting that morning, but any other time. How about uh, give you call about eight thirty? Sounds perfect. All right, I'll promise you, I'll take up no more than fifteen minutes of your time. That's okay. Now, unless you, long as you say no, you can't do that, then then we'll start taking up some more time. <laughs> I, I uh, uh, well, sorry, we're all back now, so. Well, I'll tell you really quick. I went and got my driver's license renewed. And boy, you're talking about a bad driver's license picture. It is terrible. <laughs> and the young the lady. Same did, experience. <laughs> she did it three times. <laughs> we couldn't get a good picture. How, how, would, how did the process, though, go? For yeah. getting it renewed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I, I just went and made my appointment early and I just monitored and okay. it, it, it went fairly quickly. How long did it app, take? It went to South County and the app works well. It tells you, um, like, it gives you like a wait time basically. And if you show up at that time, then yeah. it's like, oh, nice. yeah. yeah. I'm with the Deer Creek and you know, they, they send texts every 30 minutes. So it was a good hour, hour 15 minutes of my day, but that, it was, that was okay. Did you use an app? An app on my phone? You gotta do it. Yes. Okay, I think we have everybody back, correct? Yes, Mayor. Okay. So for those attendees, uh, we apologize. We had uh, a business to do and we're really very, very sorry. So let's call this meeting to order and we will start with a roll call, Katie. Mayor Welsh? Here. Council Member Arnold? Here. Council Member Bliss? Here. Council Member Franklin? Here. Council Member Smith? Here. Council Member Alexander? Here. Council Member Richardson? Here. All right, our first agenda item is to remarks of visitors. And Katie, I think that goes to you or Jen? Yes, Jennifer has them. There are two speakers, please. Um, the first one is from Jim Winstrower, uh, sent on the 22nd of July. He says, hello, I would like to request your consideration of installing stop signs in both directions of Lockwood at the Gray Avenue intersection. I have lived in the 100 block of Gray for over 40 years. The business area on Lockwood has changed enormously over the years. My concern is the growing safety concern at the intersection of Gray and Lockwood. Motorists wishing to turn west on Lockwood from Gray cannot see traffic going eastbound on Lockwood. There are many close calls due to line of sight issues. The no parking sign posted at the front entrance of the old auto driveway, now a restaurant bar, 
is being ignored by patrons and often utilized by food and beverage delivery trucks. The unloading and delivery of these products takes some time to complete. The posted sign clearly states no parking from the sign to Gray Avenue. A mailbox is included in this area along with trees, making it impossible to make a safe left turn. Additionally, many motorists are driving too fast, and often unfortunately on cell phones, as they pass by robots, straws, PNC Bank on the north side, and four restaurants on the south side. Many are going to or from the many bar restaurants for retail beverages. The safety issue of increased bike traffic also contributes to the problem. When you throw in pedestrian traffic to school children from Bristol and Ambrose, and patrons of the shops and offices using the crosswalk, you have, in my opinion, an unsafe setting. There are other stop signs at Lockwood and Rock Hill and Lockwood and Gore. One more stopping point would provide a safer setting for all involved. The time shift it takes to slow to a stop and then proceed would maybe add 10 seconds or so. There was a request for the installation of stop signs several years ago at the intersection of Jefferson and West Jackson due to line of sight issues. There is much more intense traffic usage at Gray and Lockwood than the one at West Jackson. Kindly give this matter your consideration. Thank you. And then our second one is from Dave Buck, and that was received today. Over the years, I am batting zero when it comes to my ideas about how to improve the agenda for regular city council meetings like adding the 15 second Pledge of Allegiance. But never say never, this shares another such idea. In last week's community conversations meeting, David Franklin said that he wished Webster Rose could become the most culturally and racially diverse city in St. Louis County, if not the nation. What I liked about David's idea is that it's, he is thinking about a future vision for our city, which has not existed in the 20 years I've lived here. My own vision for Webster Groves is to be the most hopeful, peaceful, and positive community on earth. By positive, I mean that people see the glass as half full instead of half empty, and always look for the good, the hope, and the positive in people and ideas. So here's the idea that is not my own, but is borrowed from the Webster Grove School Board meetings. Early in each council meeting, there would be an agenda item titled Celebrations of Council. Each council member, one by one, singles out and shares a celebration of praise of a person, event, organization, contribution, etc. See how simple this is? It would start every meeting on a positive note about our community. For example, Sarah Richards would be a great Facebook post today celebrating Election Day and how much she loved how everyone, regardless of their politics, got along and helped each other in the spirit of community. I saw it too. That's something positive and that's something to celebrate. Such praise and positivity raises spirits and simply makes people feel good. To me, that's part of the council's job description. Do you agree? Do you see what I see? Peace, Dave. That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I believe we have no new business, except we can announce that we have canceled our August uh, 18th council meeting, and we'll meet again in September. Uh, and we're on to unfinished business, bill number 9126. Who's unmuted who could call for that reading? Yes, Mayor, I'd like to call for the third and final reading of Bill number 9126 and its subsequent adoption. Second. Bill 9126, third reading. In ordinance, permitting the subdivision of certain property at 116 Summit Place and 120 Summit Place in the A3 10,000 square foot residence district. Any comments or questions? Call for the vote. Council Member Arnold? Yes. Councilmember Bliss? Yes. Councilmember Franklin? Yes. Councilmember Smith? Yes. Councilmember Alexander? Oh, you're on mute, Karen. Yes. Councilmember Richardson? Yes. Mayor Welch? Yes. All right, 9126 is passed. Does anyone care to remove the minutes from the consent agenda? If not, could I have a motion for approval? Pam, you're unmuted. Could you call to approve the consent agenda? Yes, um, I'd like to call for the approval of the consent agenda and its Second. subsequent adoption. Second. Council Member Bliss? Yes. Council Member Franklin? Yes. Council Member Smith? Yes. Council Member Alexander? Yes. Council Member Richardson? Yes. Mayor Welch? Yes. Council Member Ronald? Yes. All right, that uh, consent agenda has passed. And tonight we have made some uh, 
board and commission appointments. We have reappointed Tracy Collins and Carol Denke to the Architectural Review Board. We've reappointed Chris Lubert and John Berenzine to the Sustainability Commission. And we have appointed uh, Cindy No to the uh, Police Community Engagement Board with Angela Brooks as an alternate that we have yet to technically figure out how we do that. But we'd like Angela to know that we want her there. Um, is there anything else? Do, do we have an update in the uh, Democratic Committeeman race, David? <laughs> oh, I hope everybody gonna, voted for him today. I, it's gonna I be had tough. it, but I lost it. That's why I was looking up at my computer. I, that's exactly what I've been doing, Emerson. So, how, I mean, when I'm not listening, of course. I, the yeah. absentees are in in St. Louis County, and it's uh, it's close all around. But San Page is up pretty big, just absentees, and Kelly Dunaway is up pretty big. So. And obviously, Amendment 2 is up huge in St. Louis County in absentees. Yeah, oh, so. good. yeah that's actually statewide. It's up big. It's up 65%. Oh, really? Yeah, statewide. Wonderful. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. It's about time. Good. Yes. All right. People. And, and Gross is closing on Finran, which is good. Yeah. Oh, is that statewide it's or local? Well, it's actually statewide, but it's, it's still a pretty big margin for him, but he's closed the gap a little bit. So. Okay. Anything else? Well, okay. As we're all out celebrating, I think David's having a party tonight. Yeah. He's, <laughs> likely, he's likely to win the election. <laughs> celebrating not having poison ivy in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, we're all going to appear on your doorstep. Soon. <laughs> so. Okay, um, everyone, until... Until we zoom the next time, <laughs> which is, seems to me in my life constant. So. so this is sort of a see you on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see yeah. you soon. Everybody take care. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Meeting is adjourned. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.